If you're interested in buying Fallout 76 caps, weapons or items, check out easympc.com and use my code DTDG for 5% off via the link in the description. Before we jump straight into today's video, I'd like to do a massive shout out to Uranium Fever, who is the latest channel member on the channel. Shout out to you, thank you so much for your support, I really appreciate it. And shout out to all the channel members who regularly support the channel, you're all absolutely awesome. Now let's jump straight into today's video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Fallout 76 Weekly Atomic Shop update. And today I'm going to be showing you exactly what is inside of this week's Atomic Shop. I'm going to review it and stuff, see if there's any new bundles. I'm hoping there will be, but we'll find out in just a moment. Ignore Hugo there, he just decided to jump off the chair, and let's jump straight into it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy, hit that like button for me. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with what's happening in Fallout 76. Boom, let's jump straight in. So, this... Okay. Hey, the Liberty Prime. Um, someone. Oh God, someone literally just said in the comment uh, in yesterday's video that they want the Liberty Prime Power Armor skin, and it's back in. So happy days for that. Um, it's a bit questionable. Although they've got some really nice outfits down the bottom here. I love this one here. Morpheus was wearing it the other day, and it looks really nice on. I really enjoy it. I think it looks brilliant. The Wasteland Trapper outfit. I think it was that one he was wearing. I've also got this survivalist outfit, which is nice as well. I love these kind of like law friendly style builds, but there is nothing new in this week, surprisingly, which is very odd. There's also the stalker's outfit, which is also a very nice item, although it does remind me of like the German outfits from World War II, but it does look really cool. I really like that. And also you've got the Shadow Prime power armor as well, which is a nice set, very bulky and very cool looking indeed. And then also the Liberty Prime, which if you did not know, it shouts out voices and stuff. And you can turn it off though if you don't want to. But you can get that and it looks really, really cool. You can still get the prototype purifier as well if you haven't got that yet. There's an ammo converter in here as well, which I don't know if you have to pay for that. I can't remember if that was free or not, but that is in the Atomic Shop now. And there's also the Bone Gas Mask. I don't think that was free. I'm not too sure though. Also still in the Atomic Shop is the White Spring Bundle, if you want to see all that in the full kind of gist of it. I did a review on that a couple of weeks ago when it first came out. So I'll link it on screen around now, just so you can see it if you want to think about purchasing it. The Vault Atrium, of course, is still in the bloody Atomic Shop, you know. That thing's going to be in there forever now, it's been here for 7 or 8 weeks, so I'm not expecting that to go anytime soon. Until maybe they bring another one out, but God knows when that'll be. Going on to the Greatest Hits, which is the third page, there is the Unclear Power Armor Paint, which looks really cool as well. And you've also got more seal items. So a lot of seal items this week, and a lot of weapon skins on here as well. Look at that, or like Dark Gauss Rifle skins. I haven't seen them in in a while, so nice to have them added in. You can also get the Enclave Military Beret if you're into that, and the Eye Patch Bundle as well. And there's also an Enclave Paint for your Pip-Boy, which actually looks really nice. Going on to the vaulting section now, we have the vault Tech Fridge, Fireman Paint, and the US Army Paint, which literally only came out last week and it's already going into the vault. So maybe that's a kind of grab to try and get more people to buy it. Maybe not many people bought it. I'm not surprised because I didn't think that much of it, to be honest. I thought it was a bit kind of standard looking, to be fair, but yeah. Then finally, we have the free and special offers page. Where you can get the quack outfit which i already have so i wonder what price that is let me know in the comments guys when you log on let me know what price that is because it'd be it'd be interesting to know you can also get the greaser uh, photo mode pose greaser jacket and jeans and the jukebox which i don't have so i might i might buy that i don't know but that is it for this week's atomic shot guys nothing new to review unfortunately but there you go keeping you updated if you're at work at home i know when i'm at work i always rely on people to do these videos for me but today I pushed back my work shift an hour, so now I'm working at 1 o'clock in the morning. So for that, hit the like button for me, just to stop me from crying. <laughs> but never mind, there is the video for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.